Hi there, Rob here at Rob's Jukebox Restorations again, only again if you've been here before, if not, hello. <laughs> right, today I'm going to start work on a shed of a Continental. I say a shed, it's in a parts machine, it was a 100 play, I'm going to turn it to a 200 play but it's been robbed, abused, I'll show you a picture of it and you think where do you start with that? Have a look at this. Nice, huh? <laughs> Not? Okay, it's a challenge. Now then, sometime in its life, somebody has bolted with three big bolts and a clasp a bar across the cash box to stop anybody getting in. And it's left three big holes in the metal grill down the side. Now, I'll show you that now. So that's where the cash box goes, obviously that goes into there when it's in the machine but we've got these three big holes. Now some people will say, yeah you won't see them, just paint up, yeah it's not me, sorry. <laughs> this sheet is in good condition apart from those holes so it's a shame to actually go and buy another sheet and I'm not certain you can buy them with exactly the same size holes so they don't look exactly the same. So. Uh, you know what I'm like. So what I've got is a piece of copper, if you haven't got any, uh, it's a piece of copper pipe just cut in half and flattened out, that's going to go behind that where those holes, I've cleaned the metal up both sides, the paint off it. So what I'm going to do is I've got some metal, same gauge, so I'm going to cut, put these behind, mark them up and cut out little circles exactly the same shape mark them which is which so they will fit exactly in there I intend to mig them in then grind them off mark the lines where the holes go and using exactly the right size drill bit which is that one that goes through perfectly drill out the holes hopefully when you painted you won't see them so we'll cut these up and see where we go from there. So you'll see a little piece of metal in there just popped out so that fits in there perfectly I'll fill it up with weld around there with a MIG set on low I've got a piece of copper behind which I'm going to clamp on stop it falling through I'll clamp that together MIG that up grind it off, drill it out and then if that works we'll do it with these three as well so let's see if that works one, two, three, four little bits of metal cut and dropped into the holes I've marked them so I know where each one goes so hopefully if I can take them over into the welder now and MIG weld those on I mean I could have just used the MIG welder and filled the hole up but the trouble is the amount of heat produce would, would warp all that so I want to keep the heat right down. Let's go weld them. Wish me luck. <laughs> Now I've just put a tack on each one to stop them moving so now I can go weld them all up now that they're all tacked on. It's 
incidentally I'm using a flat disc as opposed to a grinder because it's not quite as aggressive I don't want to cut through and ruin this this lot a bit warm now because it's uh, all blue so I'm not going to touch it holes are drilled out drop of paint on to see what it looks like yeah that looks okay it's at the bottom of the machine but those big ugly holes aren't there so that's saved a lot of time and money just drilling those out and there it is fitted on the machine uh, painted and you can't tell so I'm really happy with that Whilst we're on the bottom of this Continental, I'll just pan out a little bit. The wheels on a Conti are usually all over the place. They're set into a kind of a, a cutout. And so they're fairly low. And they have this type on. These horrible things that push into a socket like that. And they wobble about all over the place. And because they wobble, they touch the sides, so they stick to the floor. So I put this type on, which is a flat plate, but you can't put them straight in because the, the wheels will touch the sides there. So I just make a, a fillet, put that piece in, that goes in like that, that goes in there, glue that in, screw in the top with a big washer, pulling that in so the glue sets, and then screw those onto there and they're really really good wheels they've, they've seen 60 years they've had it they're for the bin also you might remember that this was a hundred play machine so it had that on it I might, I thought, well, I'll get these laser cut out but I don't know if you can see them but it's so bad is that it's so rippled and ruined that's for the bin so I managed to source a good second hand 200 play top for there soon to be finished the continental 2 and i don't paint those i put vinyl wrap on there on that top so when you put a, an led light on it it sparkles so it's all really they look gorgeous and it's easy to fit as well and you don't get all brush marks and paint and they don't stain so i put uh, vinyl wrap on there Sparkle finish. You may have noticed that this has got a gorgeous new grill on. And um, I actually paid out for the tooling to get these copied and made in heavy duty aluminium. So if you need one of those for a Conti, I can do them in gold or silver. Uh, just get in touch with my website. Nice, aren't they? Aren't they lovely? Lovely. Mmm. Oh, love it. <laughs> Starting to look a bit better now. <clears throat> Instead of putting a two foot tube down there with a starter and a ballast, that's a plastic LED. They cost a couple of quid no wires at that side at all just two wires straight to mains at that side click them in there that's that done no ballast buzzing and humming so let's go around the back of the machine
Now, normally on the Continental 2, you've got all this stuff that get hot, they buzz, uh, they're about $30 a piece, each one of these. You've got two down there, two down there, and you've got this massive wiring that runs all the way up there, all the way up through the neck, and a load of wiring in the neck, which is thick enough to run a power station. Or if you don't want to fit all that again, which I don't, fit that. Weighs nothing, doesn't get hot, doesn't buzz. And what that does, that little unit there will light both those two top lights that shine inside the dome. Another one of these will light the two in the side of the radar dish at the top. One wire coming down from the front light, one power wire going up into the neck that fits inside the neck, in the neck. Nothing around here, just two wires. That's all the wiring that's going to be up there, just those two wires. Or do you want to put that lot in? I'll let you choose. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> See ya.